Good evening, class. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, how are you? I'm happy because it's Friday. Yay. <laughs> Yay, it's Friday. <laughs> Woo. What plans do we have? <laughs> Where are we gonna be going this weekend? I'm just going out with my daughter. Oh, nice. Where are you going to? We don't know yet. Right. But we're going now. Oh. <laughs> That's the most important thing. <laughs> okay. Uh, where do you like to go out? Like uh, movies, shopping. What? No, I, I, I. I like this place, you know, I told you already, right? I like La Bodega Italiana because you can you can eat and you can listen to music. Mm, nice. And sing, it's a very nice place. You can also sing? You sing with, with the singer, not that you are going to perform. Oh, no, no, no. okay, like not like karaoke. <laughs> Uh -huh. Ah, okay. No, I thought we were talking that. about karaoke. No. Oh, okay, okay. I gotcha. I gotcha. Okay. Uh, well, that's going to be nice. And how old is your daughter? 21. <gasps> Seriously? Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness. So you go out and you look like sisters. <laughs> I tell her that she's the older. Aha, uh -huh. oh my goodness, wow. <laughs> She's so great. Yeah. That's great. And and do you share a lot of things like clothes and makeup and yeah. <laughs> I, I used to do that with my mom. Mm. Um, yeah, I, I used to also um share everything. Well, the only thing we wouldn't share are were shoes because my my shoe size is much bigger than hers um but so so they didn't same see. happens to us oh yeah the same <laughs> but other than that you know i would go to her closet she would go to my closet um yeah so <laughs> it was all this, it was all the same mm -hmm. yeah Hello, guys. Uh, well, you wouldn't know anything about sharing clothes and makeup, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I guess, I guess um, with guys, do you guys share um, things like with your brothers? Like, I don't know, like women, we do that a lot. We share things yeah. um, between and like with their dads. And, but uh, yeah, or with your dad, would you share? Would you share your clothes with your dad? Or like son and, and, and like father and son, would you share things, clothes and things like that? No? No. No, never? No, never. No? Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm just wondering. I've never actually never, ever. asked. <laughs> I'm, I'm just curious because I've never really asked anybody with that question. What about, <laughs> what about you, Luis? Um, yes, when I was a uh, teenager, yeah. I shared uh, clothes and shoes with my brother, but then I get taller than he, and I can't wear uh, his clothes anymore. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. What about, yes. with your, what about with your father? Would you ever share clothes with your father? Uh, no, with my father, never. Never, never with the father. Just with, with the. Never. Um, maybe the 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 watches. Uh, okay. My father likes to to wear watches, and sometimes they uh, borrow me his watches. He lent you, lent to you his. Watches. Not lent me, yes. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay, I got it. Yes. Oh, mm -hmm. that's interesting. Okay, interesting. All right, um, and we're just we're just discussing. Welcome, um, Jose. We're just discussing. Um, share Thank you, teacher. Good evening. 
Good evening. We're discussing sharing clothes and things with your family members, like uh, with your brother and your father. Did you ever do that? Did you ever share clothes or things like that with your your father or your brother? No, teacher. I don't have that problem because my father doesn't live. My father doesn't live with me. Uh -huh. And I don't have a brother, so only I have one sister, but she is married, so she is not live with me. So oh, I but, don't have that problem. I mean, but that's right now. Maybe I mean when you were growing up, like a teenager. Oh no, never, no, never, never happened. No, never happened. Oh, okay, all right, okay. Yeah, well, yeah. I'm just, I was just curious. All right, guys. <laughs> so today we are going to take our attendance to begin with. So I'll start with Ana Claudia. And my goodness, this is the first time that Ana Claudia has not been able to answer. <laughs> okay, I guess not. She's not here, right? I don't see her. Okay. Habit. Habit is also not here. Okay. Um, what about um, Andres? Oh my goodness, we're missing so many people. I haven't, checked, I haven't checked my my my. It's my Friday, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can tell. Yes, I guess so. I don't know. Weird. Um, it is okay. Friday that the people receive the money. It is. Oh yeah. Oh, right. <laughs> yes, you're right. It is. Yeah, it's payday. It's true, because many people do not like. Yeah, because the fifteenth is a is a Sunday, right? So people do not get paid on Sunday. That's so true. Yeah. Well, we'll have to see. Um. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. Andres is not here then, right? No. Okay. All right, so Dennis Orlando, I guess not. Edgar Emenhibar, no, right? Uh, Eddie Chorleni, no, oh my goodness. Wow. <laughs> Irvin. Irvin? Irwin? El primero en la lista que existe. Go, me... <laughs> go to buy some tacos, maybe. Irvin? He was connected. Yeah, well, I can see him. he's connected, but I just can't see his camera. And I don't know if he's there or what happened. Okay, well, I'm going to say that he's not there. Okay. All right. Fabiola? No, right? Uh, hey, Heidi? Present teacher. All right, excellent. Irene? Present teacher. Yay! Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm so happy to see you, Irene. We've missed you these past days that um, things have not been very steady for you, huh? Thank you so much. Okay. I'm glad you were able to connect. Okay. Let's um, let's continue Listen with you. <laughs> yes, Ivan. <laughs> okay. All right. Great. Um, good to see you, Ivan. Uh, Josue? Nope, can't see Josue either. Uh, what about Juan Francisco? No, I don't see Juan Francisco either. What about Jury? Present teacher. All right, excellent. Luis? Present teacher. Excellent, we also missed you. And we're happy that you're you're here with us again. Okay, thank you. Um, Manuel Alejandro, I believe not. And um, and Natalia, no. Okay. Um, hmm. Okay. Uh, Wendy. Present teacher. Wow, great. Good evening. Good evening. Good to see you, Wendy. Thanks, how, teacher. How about Warner? Is Warner here? No? Okay. All right. Um, Yvonne, is Yvonne here? Oh, 
she's connecting. Connecting. Just kidding. Yeah. Let's see if she connects on time. Hello, Yvonne. Hello, teacher. Hi, we're calling out your name. So it's you're right on time to say so, present. Present. <laughs> All right, excellent. Okay. Uh, Edgar Enriquez, I guess not. Uh, Elizabeth, no, right? And Jose Montes, no, right? And Jose Ayala. Present teacher. All right. Wow, okay. I just want to make sure that I haven't missed anybody. So I don't see Ana Claudia, Javid, Andres, Denis Orlando, Edgar, sí, eh, Edito Jorleni, um, Irvin, oh no, Irvin, yes, sorry, forget it. Um, Fabiola, eh, Josue, Juan Francisco, Manuel Alejandro, Natalia, Warner, Edgar Enriquez, eh, Elizabeth, and Jose Montes. Am I correct? No one else? Okay, all right. Wow, we have a very, very small class today. Um, guys, oh wait, hold on. Let me just check. I, I haven't even checked my cell phone. Uh, I, am I, are there any messages from our group? Oh yes, I guess there is. Oh, okay. Yeah, there are a few people. Okay, all right, so hopefully we will have more people connecting soon. Okay, all right, guys. Um, so we are going to start. Um, teacher, excuse me. Yeah, hi. Present, present teacher. Oh, <laughs> yeah, sorry. we were, we were wondering where you were. <laughs> yeah, I might I, 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 wake, I, I wake up a moment. Sorry. Yeah, we were, we were, we saw that you were connected, but I was wondering like where you were. Okay. Yes, I am really woken and I closed the door. Sorry? I, I, I went to the, to close the door. Oh, uh, okay, 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 no wonder. All right. I am okay. Sorry, okay. sorry guys. Okay. No problem. The important thing is that you are here. Okay, so we're going to start. Um, um, I'm going to share my PowerPoint presentation and you tell me if you can see it. Okay. Yes, teacher. Yeah. Yes, teacher. Good. So this is the intermediate module one, unit four, personnel training. Uh, the date is Friday, August 13th, 2021. And the day is the day 23, facilitator Jessica Guerrero. Just for um, cultural purposes, do you know, do you know uh, why today some people consider that it's a, it's an, it's a special day, let's say, special? Friday 13th. Friday 13th. Exactly. Yeah, just something and cultural. Payday. Huh? Oh, yeah. Well, and yeah. Payday. <laughs> And of course, it's payday. Yes, I know. But um, where I'm talking about the fact that it's just cultural, um, you know, just cultural knowledge that um, people in um, the United States, Canada, consider that Friday the 13th is an unlucky day. Unlucky day. Yeah. Don't know why. I have no idea. But you know, that's what they say. I've heard that else in in, in um, well, I think in Spanish speaking countries, it's Tuesday the 13th? Is that correct? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Okay, yeah. So I really don't know why Tuesday, why Friday, but you know, that's just something. Yeah, so that's just like cultural differences, you know, just something to to know. <laughs> okay. All right. So guys, um all right, so let's begin. Now this exercise was something that we did yesterday and i promised you guys that we were going to be seeing today simply because it was very late yesterday <laughs> so we didn't want to keep you so um let's check it today now okay um so um so we had this so uh, interesting text and what you had to do was write down the answers of 
um, operator said you had to match the paragraph with each description up here, right? Or what it was talking about, what each paragraph was talking about. So we're gonna be checking our answers right now, starting um, on. All right, so Jose, you wanna give us the first answer? Uh, no, teacher, I have the reason that why uh, the Friday 13 is calling unlucky day. Oh, okay. Why is that? Uh, I make a research on Google oh, okay. and say that the superstition seems to relate it to various things like the story of Jesus, Last Supper, and crucifixion, in which there were 13 individuals present in the upper room. On the 13th of Nisan, Maundy Thursday, the right before the sea, that uh, the code of Friday. Huh. Okay. okay. That's why uh, it's calling unlucky day. On uh, the 13th, okay. Yeah. Do you know why Friday though? Oh, well. But. Or Friday. I don't know which Friday. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just wondering. What it's not the life Freddy Krueger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. You know, some some things are you know, it's just they're just there, but you have no idea why. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, because I've always wondered why in 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 Latin America it's it's Tuesday and in North America it's it's Friday. So I I never realized like I never it didn't make sense to me. Right? Yeah, that's right. Okay, anyway, yeah, just, uh, anyways, we're going to continue here. Uh, okay, just give me a second. Okay, so, um, all right, so for number one, let's begin with um, Jerry. Teacher. Yeah. Uh, uh, I don't know if that exercise is yesterday you resolve it or it is for this day. We did it yesterday. You were not here. Right? I had the no, I didn't. I see that. Okay, okay. okay. Uh -huh. That's why I don't understand what are you okay, doing okay. here. No worries, no worries. So who said they have the, the, the answer? Yeah, I have it. Is the oh. size the size of skills and knowledge gaps? Do you hear me? Yes. Yeah. No. Nope. Okay. The size skills and knowledge gaps. Okay. All right. Okay. Good. Thank you. Um, let's go with number two. I uh, will have um, Heidi. Uh, we found out that it was identify personal spirits. Oh, no, no, no. Identify training solutions. Okay, thank you. Okay, all right, next, number three. Um, let's have here, um, Yvonne, can you help us with number three, Yvonne? Uh, for me is, Evaluate performance after training. Okay. Thank you. Next, number four. Um, let's have Wendy help us. 
Uh, identify training solution for me. Okay. Thank you. And number five, we'll have um, Urban. Uh, hmm? mm, I can't hear you very well, oh, Urban. Okay. Can you repeat? Okay, okay, sorry. Analyze the job. Oh, analyze the job. Analyze the job. Yes. Analyze the job. Okay. Yes. Analyze the job. Okay. All right, guys. Um, so, um, all right. So, what do you guys think about this? Do you agree with that? You don't not agree true. With it? No. I'm not. Uh, I disagree. You disagree? Yeah, in the number four. Mm -hmm. Number four. Because says yeah, because on uh, number four says does well. Let me one second. Does well. Oh. Observe what the employee does well and what needs to improve. Check for qualification training courses and responsibilities from previous positions. Get more individual information for human resources. So I guess the number four is uh, identify personal current skills and knowledge. Okay. What do you guys think about that? And I agree with that. You agree with what? Uh, with number four, the uh, Jose says. Uh huh. Okay. Um. All right. So you agree with what Jose, uh, Jose says? Okay. Do, what about the others? What do you guys think? Class, what do you what do you what do you say? Do you agree? You don't agree? Can I change it? Should I not change it? What do you guys think? <clears throat> Hello, class. You can you can go ahead and open up your microphone. Give your opinion. It's okay to give your opinion. I want your opinion. You don't have to be right. That's okay. You, I just need you to give me your opinion. Um, number one for me is identify training solutions. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. Let's 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 start with number one. Let's discuss number four first because um, I okay. want to make sure that you know if you guys agree with the answer that's written down or you agree with what Jose says. I teach up for, the, for number four, I agree with Jose. Okay, so we have four people, sorry, three three people already that say they, um, they would change number four. Um, okay, so I'm going to uh, go ahead and change the answer then because it, our majority, I guess, wins. Okay, so you said this is identify personnel's current skills and knowledge. Right? Yes. Uh, Yvonne also says that we need to change identify training solution, but I guess that the side <laughs> skills knowledge gaps we have to uh, refer to the first one because it says list all opportunities and areas of improvement where training is necessary to increase effectiveness. Uh, so mm -hmm. that that I guess that that uh, sentence means like knowledge gaps. Okay. 
So which one should we change then? No, I guess that has to be the size of skill of knowledge. So this is number one. Yeah, yeah, like it is. But she can share it, uh, her opinion uh, to know why. Okay. Uh, she 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 guess that we need to change the dance way. Okay. Uh, because uh, number one says list all the opportunities and areas of improvement. And the last sentence says, ask employees what areas they need help with. For me, uh, that is uh, identify training uh, solutions. Because you need to know what is the problem or what is the need that the employees uh, have to identify what is the solution. Okay, so two different uh, ideas to think about. What do you guys think? For my teacher, the number one is okay, it's a skill of knowledge gaps. Uh, uh, there says, um, let me check. Um, decide if there is a gap between the knowledge and the skills. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what do you guys think? Should we change it or not then? For me, we don't need to change, it's okay. I guess that the rest of the class is sleeping to <laughs> <laughs> Um maybe. <laughs> so imagine half of the class is half of the class is sleeping and the other class is, is not here. <laughs> so, <laughs> so wow, yeah, we have an interesting class today. Um okay. All right. Um let me help you with this, okay? Um Uh, notice mm, hold on give me a moment um Just one second. Okay, so basically, if I'm not mistaken, there like the 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 confusion, let's say, or um, is between number one and number four, right? Am I correct? Or no? Which are the ones that you guys? Uh, for, for me, I guess it is the only the first one, but I don't know with the rest of the class. Um, yeah, okay. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so yes, I would definitely um, say that this would be okay. Because if you notice, um, it says here, decide if there is a gap between the knowledge and the skills of the staff. And then notice that you also have to ask the employees what areas they need help with. So you can also ask, basically, in other words, you can also ask the employees if they feel that they have gaps, right? So it's not just the, the employer that needs to identify the cap, also the um the the employee the sorry 
not not just the employer, but the employee himself can find out if they have any gaps that they need to um, to work on. So yes, number one, I would say would be fine. Okay. Uh, now, a number two, find the best way to provide training. Okay. Here's that key right there, training. Okay. So. There, we're here. We're talking about training, and um, you're going to decide if it's what kind of training you need, right? Um, if you need coaching, short term, long term, um, e learnings. You, so you're going to decide what kind of training, and that means that you have to first identify the type of solution that is needed. So yes, this one's also correct. So far, so good. Do we, are we following? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Um, and I guess that we missed one uh, paragraph because yes. we have, uh, oh no, in the guide there were uh, five uh, sentences, yeah, six sentences. Right. On the guide, we have six sentences. The guide? Oh, six paragraph on the guide on the uh, guide of the of the class. Just give me a second. Yeah, just give me a second, guys. I want to check something out. Uh, teacher, while you check that information, yeah. let me one moment because I need to run one update on my on my computer, and I will connect again. Okay. Oh. The update was messing my computer, <laughs> so take care. No, oh, if you want, I can share your, my <laughs> screen, and you will see that. No, no, no. I I, I'm getting into the class late because due to an update. <laughs> ah, okay. Uh, take care for the update. <laughs> okay. Your your because computer I'm, is updating. Yes, my, my computer is updated and I need to restart. So uh, that's the reason that I you I heard your voice like robotic. Oh, okay. So I must have found sound very very funny. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. No problem. No problem. Okay. Let me one moment. Uh huh. No problem at all. Thank you. Thank you. Just give me one second while I try to figure this thing out. Take care. Sorry. Windows 10 is launching updates. Okay. Sorry? Yes. Windows 10 was launching updates. So that uh, was missing my computer. Yeah. And guys, also, I recommend uh, that you always try to keep your Zoom also updated because yes um, made an update yes yeah, because zoom it, you know very recently has made some updates mm -hmm. um and so um yeah you and and that can 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 make you you know um uh, back up at least five minutes minimum five minutes <laughs> while you you wait for the thing to update. Hey. um so yeah just make sure that you up you're you're up to date with that um, just give me a second. No, there were five. Jose, Jose says that there were six, but there were, there's five. I guess he was referring to the vocabulary that we saw yesterday, is that there were six, but there's only five. So I, I don't know. I don't know why, why, why he mentioned that. And since he's not here, I can't ask him. <laughs> okay. All right. Anyways, uh, let's continue. Um, oh, no. <laughs> I just realized that the answers, when I stopped sharing, the answers went away. Ah, okay. Hold on. All right. So I'm going to have to write again. I'm so sorry, guys. Okay. So we'll, 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 we'll do it from the beginning. Okay. So now we said number one was um, decide um, skills and knowledge gaps. Right. And we said that this one was um, identify training solutions. 
And so that was fine too. And number three, we were discussing number three, right? Um, evaluate the performance of the training. Right. Evaluate um, performance after training. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good. Um, so, what do you guys think about this one? Is that correct? Yes, teacher. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I would say that it's correct because. The keyword here, right there, is the evaluate. So we have the word evaluate in the description. So yes, right. There's a checklist. Do you guys know what a checklist is? You guys understand? Yes. Yeah. So una una lista de cotejo, right? So you just check, mm -hmm. right? So yes, that's correct. So that's a way to evaluate. Mm -hmm. Okay. Number four. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I think you put, hold on, you put um, identify personnel's, hold on, whoops. Um, ident identify personnel, person, oh. Personnel's um, current skills, skill. skills and knowledge. Okay, what do you guys think about this one? Do you agree with it? Do you agree with it? Do you don't agree with it? Yes, I agree. Yeah? yeah. Okay. And I agree too. And the reason I agree with it is because um, notice it says here observe. Oh, hold on. Give me a second. My computer. Now it's my computer that's going funny. <laughs> I, I'm <laughs> yeah, I'm losing. Hold on. I'm losing the, the, the monitor um, connection. Just give me a moment. Well, I just. Oh my. Can you guys see my screen okay? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. All right. Okay. Sorry, my screen went a little funny right now. Okay, anyways, um, yes, we, so that is the, oh, I'm losing connection. I don't know why. Hang a second. I'm going to stop sharing for a moment because this is driving me crazy. I can't see anything well right now. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Hopefully, a little. Sorry, guys, we're gonna, uh, well, you guys already know, um, oh my goodness. I'm just really afraid that you guys um, can't see my screen very well. But anyways, um, you tell me if you, if you see the screen funny or not, because I'm seeing the screen a little funny, but, <laughs> but maybe that's just me. All right, um, can you guys see the screen or yes, not? Yes, teacher. Okay, all yes. right. Okay, and I'm just going to quickly write the answer to the last one because otherwise we're never going to finish this. Um, okay, so the last one, it was, um, what was it? Oh, analyze the job, right? Analyze the job, right? And so, okay, and so this answer is also correct. And the reason it, well, 
it says here, uh, discuss, describe the responsibilities of the position with the employee. So um, to be able to analyze, we have to know what is the description of the, of the position, right? Um, so that's the analysis of the job. Okay, any questions so far? No, you guys are okay? Yes, teacher. Yeah. Okay. All right. So let's do one thing before we continue to the next part. Let's look at the vocabulary here. Tell me if there's any questions about first vocabulary, then we'll go over pronunciation. So let's start with vocabulary first. You can write in the chat. No, nothing. Um, nothing really. All of the words are are clear. Okay, all right, so we're first word here um, is, let me see. So we have, um, where is that word? Ah, yes, found it. So the first word here is effectiveness. Okay. Also we have e-learning. Anything else? No, that's it. Okay. All right. Sounds good. All right. In that case, guys, um, let's check. So effectiveness. Um, is talking about being effective, the word being, well, being redundant, um, being effective. What is effective? E effective means that it's, um, it obtains the goal that you want, right? So um, to give you an example, if you want, if uh, you, you're taking a medication um, to make you feel better, to make, maybe because you have pain, and you take the medication, it's like a painkiller um, to, um, uh, so yeah, so that you don't feel any pain and you take it and the pain goes away, it's effective, right? It means that it, it, uh, you, it was able to obtain the goal that, or the, the objective that it had. But if the pain doesn't go away, it's not effective. So the effectiveness is the noun of the adjective effective. Does that make sense? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So it's the noun. So effective is the adjective. Effectiveness is the is the noun. The noun. Okay. okay. E-learning. Um, okay. Question. You guys have heard of email, right? Mm -hmm. What what does email stand for? A letter sent uh -huh. by the web. Uh huh. Uh, but but the word email. Why is it called email and not, for example, s mail? Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> electronic. Exactly, because the E stands for the word electronic, okay? So when we're talking about e-learning, it's the same thing. It means electronic learning. So in other words, we are learning with electronic means, just like we are right now. You guys are e-learning, right? Because you're learning online. You're learning with electronic means, not face-to-face -face classes. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah? Teacher. Uh-huh. Hello? Yes. What happened? Oh, did, what did you say, Ana Claudia, at the end? Makes sense. Oh. Yes, that okay. makes sense. Oh, I thought you were asking a question. Oh, like, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, got it. Okay, any other questions about vocabulary? Okay, so then let's look at the vocabulary. Sorry, let's look at the pronunciation then. Uh, so write in the chat any questions about pronunciation. The same first word is, so you, you say, Effectiveness is effectiveness. Effectiveness. Ah, okay. Effectiveness. 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 Okay. So, so it's not effectiveness. Uh -huh. it's effectiveness. Okay. Um, in the number three, in the last uh, row is, please tell me again, is the fee Como es deficiency or how do you pronounce that word? Where? In the number three, the paragraph, the third paragraph. Mm -hmm. As I said, yes, evidence, evidence of deficiency. Oh, yeah. Descansa, por favor, la última vez que te digo. Ah. Um, deficiency. Deficiency, okay. Deficiency. Ok. Any other? You can, get, you can write in the chat. Really? That's it? That's it, guys? In the last paragraph, in the number five, um, in the first line, uh, almost at the end, um, it says, write down indicators or indicators? In indicators. The, indicators, okay. Indicators. Indicators, okay. Oh, Thank indicators, you. Yeah. Okay. Hold on. Let me, let me just make sure I got that correct. Um, Cause I'm not sure where indicators, 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 indicators. Um, something tells me it's in the third one. Indicators, 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 indicators. I think it's in the third one. Let me just make sure. Okay. It's in the third one. Mm -hmm. Oh, mm, hold on. No, wait a second. Just give me a moment. Give me a moment. Let me okay. see. No, I was right the first time. Indicator. It's it's on the first one. Indicator. Indicator. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. I'm back. Um, yeah. Okay, great. Okay, so we have this word. And what was the other one? Uh, this one. Okay. All right. So, responsibilities. Yeah. So this one's responsibilities. 
responsibilities. Processes. Yeah, responsibilities. Um, this way is the processes. Processes. Hey, teacher, uh, I have one. one. Okay, just give me a second. Um, you can write in the chat. If you want, write in the chat. Well, I'll explain this one. Um, again, this is one of those words that it's gonna change the pronunciation also depending on where you're from. Because you might hear, for example, British people um, saying the um, processes, processes, right? So it's gonna depend where you're from, okay? Um, if I'm not mistaken, was that Jose that was asking about another yes, one? Yes, teacher. Uh, I have no, I just only have one job. Oh, okay, with e learning. Yeah, uh, it's uh, it means like learning system based. No, what it means is learning electronically. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, so like I was mentioning, you in this moment are e-learning because you are learning uh, with electronic means. You are not in a face-to-face -face classroom, right? Uh, you are using your electronic means to be able to learn. Okay. But, does, but e-learning is not just for... Um, classes, e-learning could be anything like e from watching a video on YouTube. That's e-learning too, right? Because e-learning is just ta it's talking about learning in with electronic means, mm -hmm. right? So if you're using your cell phone, your tablet, your computer to learn something, then you're e-learning. Okay. okay. Thank you, teacher, for that. Yeah, you're welcome. Okay. Anything else? Okay, all right, let me just make sure. Okay, all right, um, so we are going to continue here. Um, tell me when you can see my PowerPoint. I just wanna make sure you guys can see it well because like I said, something happened to my screen and I don't know why my screen is looking very funny. So I just wanna just tell me please if you can see it correctly, okay? Um, yes, the chair, we can see it. Okay. All right, so now we have some exercises that we're going to do. It says, use the process in the previous page to determine your skills and knowledge at work. Okay, so now we're going to be, it's more, this is like an auto evaluation. Okay, so this is going to be something you're going to be answering for yourself. Okay. And you're going to decide if you need to go to train to training, and what training solutions would you prefer? Okay, so you're going to be like evaluating yourself and say, Okay, I need training for this. And what kind of training um, do I need? What do I prefer? What kind of training do I prefer? Also, then you're gonna discuss your conclusions in a small group. So um, once you have answered for yourself, like this is gonna be individually, we're gonna do it. Then you're going to get, we're gonna put you into small groups and you're gonna be discussing your answers to each question with your group. Now, what are the questions? The questions are the following. So analyze the job. So when, you, when we're analyzing the job, you can ask yourself, what activities do I need to perform in my job? When you are identifying your current skills and knowledge, you can ask yourself, what specific skills do I need to perform my job? Also, you can ask yourself, am I skilled to perform my job? And when you are deciding to what skills and knowledge gaps you have, you can ask this question. Are there any skills I lack and that could help me to do my job better? Oh, 
I lost again my my monitor. Just give me a second, guys. My monitor is going crazy right now. Okay, All right. I got it back. I and uh, then we can identify training solutions. What are the training solutions you can have? You can have the following. What type of training program would be helpful to develop the skills I lack? What are some training solutions that do not conflict with my work schedule and my personal life? Any online programs or on the job training? Okay. Or mentoring? Do we understand these questions? Yes, the train. Uh, what is the meaning of lack? Yes. Okay. Um, what is the meaning of lack? The meaning of lack is when something is missing, you don't have it. That is lack. So when I say, are there any skills I lack? Means, are there any skills that I don't have that I'm missing? Okay, does that make sense? Yes. Yeah? Yes. And on the job training means uh, training uh, during work hours. Right, yes. On the job training means, yes, um, your work, well, it could be or it may not. Okay, um, basically, but most like the idea is yes, that, that you're gonna have it on, you're gonna be having it during uh, work hours. Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry, I'm just, oh, I don't know what's wrong with this. My monitor today, it's, it's Friday <laughs> and the monitor <laughs> knows it. <laughs> okay, all right, I guess it is Friday the 13th. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> This is crazy. Okay. It would be the cable. Yeah. Water, water is the training. See you next Monday, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. Yes, I for Jason came. Cable. Ooh, Jason is cutting the cable. Jason is the in the, the class. So I can hear you guys and everything because my speakers are connected. Okay, teacher. Bye. bye. Okay, bye. see you. Bye bye. Thank you, class. <laughs> Yes, you can hear us. Okay. Yes. Over. I said I can hear you. I, I didn't say that. Uh, you Anna. cannot. Ah, yeah. okay. Okay. Ana Claudia, oh, present. Present. <laughs> present, <laughs> teacher <laughs> Ivan. <laughs> present. <laughs> next, next one. <laughs> Just give me a second, guys. I no quiere. Okay, teacher, don't worry. The last attendance, please. Yes. <laughs> it's right here, so. okay. All right, so let's do me. some. Oh, wait a second. No, I can't even put you guys into groups right now. <laughs> Just give me a moment. Ah. But you say that first we will be working uh, individually. Oh, yes. You're absolutely right about that. Thank you, Anna Glada, for reminding me. Yes, first we're going to be uh, speaking. Sorry. Um, Working individually, so you can. Okay, ask we can them. start making that. Exactly. While you, you fix your. While I fix my cable and everything, and then I don't know mm -hmm. what's going on with my computer. Mm -hmm. it's going crazy. While I do that, oh, you don't worry. Answer your your. Um, okay. Just one minute, guys. Go ahead. <laughs> 